knowledge that you ever heard from the green screen to your phone screen causing a savage scene you know me well from nightmares of a question 12 i give you hell but when you're right you know i'm gonna cavell hell yeah we're all my quizzes with the fingertips tap tap it's a lecture via apocalypse dad hike up your smarty pants and think you cat yes strat let's get it down to the nitty gritty uh-huh go with it go say real jiggy uh-huh and sip the soup that's all bird nasty. Flow infinitely like the trolls in this cat in the chat scrolling. Mega! You know it's not when I come through. The life and times of Quiz Daddy host the HQ! Yes, sir, Bobby Schmurda! It is Monday, October the 15th, and you are dialed into the live mobile game show where you answer questions to win cash. And Mondays on HQ mean music Mondays. Tonight we're doing it right, rocking the quiz right, giving you a hard knock quiz. I said a hip ha! Hippy to the hippy to the hip hip hop, and you don't stop a quizzing. Hip hop trivia, baby! Only built for H Cube and links. Throw your hands in the air if you're an H Cube player. Hey! Oh! And it's me. Hi. How are you? Your host, Face Quizzer. Great quiz, the chef. Old QWERTY bastard. H Q God. The quizzer of the HQ Tank Clan, Scott Rogowski, a.k.a. Quiz Marquis, a.k.a. Grandmaster Cat, a.k.a. Trivia Bombada, a.k.a. HQ Pac Shakur, a.k.a. Paisy, a.k.a. Busted Dimes, a.k.a. Ice HQ, a.k.a. Lil HQZ Vertical Video, a.k.a. Waka Flocka Game Show, a.k.a. Cypress Hilarious, a.k.a. Warren 5Gs, a.k.a. Spendrick Lamar, a.k.a. A Tribe Called Questions. Oh, you know we're going to have a lot of a.k.a.s tonight. And I am East Coast stomping, ripping, and romping. Live from Shaolin with over 350,000 of you trying to cop those colossal-sized Picassos. 
live around the world, including Eva Rodriguez, Troy Meyer, and happy birthdays to Kem Fisher and Ellie Tate with the golden birthday. Now tonight, I'm asking 12 questions about rap music. If you come correct on all 12, you'll be secure in the bag. Tonight, I'm giving out fat stacks of dead presidents. 5,000 DMXs, 5,000 Jersey Drakes, 5,000 dollar dollar bills, y'all. Believe me, sweetie, that's enough to feed the needy. And extra, extra, read all about it. Do you have your extra lives? You're not ready to die. An extra life will resurrect you if you go down on a savage question. You can only use them once per game, not on a final question. They keep you in the game. When you get one wrong, I'll help you play this quiz close like butter plays toast. And to help me guide you through tonight's hip hop quiz, I have by my side a bona fide hip hop head, industry insider, the host of the hottest morning show on the most important hip hop radio station in the world. Hot 97 every day, that's my word. And that is my man, Peter. Rosenberg, get up here, Rosie. <laughs> I didn't know you had get, bars. Get up here. Get up here on this. You have bars? On this, I, I, I'm, dro I'm dropping. I never do. My syntax spits like anthrax hits. That's a good one. Yeah. I wrote that. You know that one? I wrote that like in 2002. But hey, I'm using it You were an MC in the past. I didn't remember. Uh, you know, Hot 97 was the soundtrack of my youth. No, no, that, I know. I know. Yes. I know. And you're there every morning. Every single morning, 6, 10 a.m., Ebro in the morning. And you're giving me some help right now. NRHQ's out there, all right? All right. Does cash rule everything around you? Cream. Yes, we are calling this meeting of the Nitty Gritty Committee to order. Let's get down to it, huh? Let's get the show on the road. Cumero and then Numero. Uno. Which of these did the hip hop group Run DMC famously wear? Tuxedos, sandwich boards, or tracksuits? Oh, I mean, Peter, this is Q1. Right? This is this is classic hip hop. This is 1983. I don't, I, need, I don't think I need you for this one. This isn't so no, tricky. No. Tricky, tricky. You got this one. Well, these are the OGs. They went gold, platinum, multi platinum, the first to do it all. Run DMC. Walk this way to the tracksuit. You have Come to. On. Classic to this day, dude. Yes. It's like that. And that's the way it, it is. is. That's true. We're joining the Hollis crew with 332999 How about the fact that 39,000 people thought tuxedos? By the way, that is really tough for me to deal with. <laughs> sort of tuxedos? All right. Well, maybe take a break and I'll bring you back when I really need you. All right. Q2. Which of these rappers also goes by Slim Shady? Eminem, Iggy Azalea, or Bow Wow? I mean, again, these are too easy. I mean, Peter, you know, he's looking at me like, really? This is the hip-hop quiz? They get harder, folks. Hi! My name is what? My name is who? My name is Slim Shady, who, you know, Marshall Mathers, and then Eminem is the real deal. That's the name you got to know. 313,286. 10,000 thought it was Bow Wow. Stop the tape! Those people need to be locked away. Palms sweaty, knees weak, arms heavy. Q3's coming up, but before we get there, Q, this, I want to tell you about this Thursday night, guys. Thursday night, we have Thursday themes, and we're doing The Office. We're going to Scranton, baby. Dunder Mifflin. Pete, you like The Office? I crush it. You my, would, my wife would buy this. <laughs> well, come back Thursday, but you, you'd crush this one, too. Q3, who famously rapped, I'm not a businessman, I'm a businessman. Notorious B.I.G., Jay-Z, Snoop Dogg. I'm not a quizness, man. I'm a quizness. Well, that doesn't make as much sense. No. On the remix. No, no, I hear you. Maybe you remix this one for yeah. me. Yeah. Kanye's Diamonds from Sierra Leone. Remember when Kanye was respected? Yeah, he was saying things back then. Yeah, important things. <laughs> well, the H to the OV cleverly made it clear he's not just a rank and file label owner, team owner, sports agent, liquor distributor, music mogul. No, Jay Z is a brand, a business unto himself. 182,984. Not a lot of hip hop heads playing tonight, apparently. <laughs> 120,000, you out on that one. Not quizness, man. All right, help me with this one. Okay. What artist refers to herself as a regular, regular, regular girl from the Bronx? Lauren Hill, Nicki Minaj, or Cardi B? Oh, this is, you this, know, is I, your, this is your Q4. Well, here's what I like. At least none of these are a total embarrassment answer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, th these are at least respectable. Let's let's see what happens here. You got to know, you know, that Lauren Hill, Miss Hill, got miseducated in the Oranges, East, South, and the Newark. Nicki Minaj, born in Trinidad, raised in the Queens. That's right, QU. But it's Cardi B. Yes, Cardi B. She stole her hearts on Instagram, then took her talents to love and hip hop, where she dropped this box. My name is Cardi B. I'm just a regular, regular, regular girl oh, from the Bronx. Oh, hell yeah. Regular, regular, schmegular girl from the Bronx. Cardi. Love it. 113,038. There you go. There you go. King through quizzes. Out of way. So Cardi B's having a moment. I mean. Oh, she's, she's crushing right now. And you like her. I love Cardi. Have you had her on the show? Yes, we have, of course. Uh, several times. Is, is, she, is, she, is she cool? Yeah, do you want me to hook you up? Yeah, give me... I just want to, like, go to a Yankee game. She, 
Okay. I would renounce my Mets fandom to go to a Yankee game with But Jordan. just so you know, she's with Offset. So just, oh, I, okay. I got that. All right. I got just that. Be, just All right. Q5. Which musician had an album go platinum without any featured artist on its tracks? Gucci Mane, J. Cole, or DJ Khaled? DJ Khaled! By the way, I joined Migos. You did? I'm the fourth Migos. Oh, okay. So you guys are good. Yeah, yeah. Meme alert! You know this meme? You know this meme team. I hate to break it to fans of this guy, but um, besides J. Cole, Carrie Underwood, Ed Sheeran, Shawn Mendes, they've also gone platinum without any featured artists. Yeah, but big ups to J. Cole in 2016, his 2014 album did go platinum. 2014, if you, no, 72,900, if you get this one right, 2014 Forest Hills Drive. We're going I, to Dreamville, baby. I just love that 23,000 people thought a DJ Khaled album could not have features, but every <laughs> DJ Khaled song. Tell it to him. Tell it to him. DJ Khaled, guys, he's a producer and a DJ. He has to have features. Thank you. Q6, who was featured in Word Up magazine according to Notorious B.I.G.'s iconic line? Heavy D, Big Pun, or Biz Marquee? Mmm. I love this line. Biggie. Biggie later got to live his dream by collaborating with this guy in a couple of songs. He even made the cover of Word Up magazine himself. How about that? Let's go to the videotape. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt young and pepper man. and heavy man. D up in the limousine. Mmm. Heavy D. Salt and pepper, heavy D up in the limousine. And it's not all a dream for 48,857. You are living the real deal right now. Hanging pictures on the wall for Q7. The rap attack continues. Ether, a term to describe a hip-hop artist getting absolutely owned, came from what rapper? Buster Rhymes, Tupac, or not? Now, this one definitely needs to uh, be What I like about this is now we're starting to get into the nitty-gritty of, like, real hip-hop talk. Right. Like, I like where we're going here. This is an important hip-hop cultural term. Explain what this means. This is about a song that was made, and this song yes. was very detrimental to another artist. That's right. That artist being Jay-Z. That's right. He was Illmatic and then Stillmatic in 2001. Nas released Ether. His response to Jay-Z's takeover, 39,050 in New York. Oh, way. They were, look, at the, look at the numbers getting better. They're you getting better. The, the real heads are still left in this game. There we go. 39,000. If you rule the HQ, we're going to find out. Q, wait, which Migo song is the title not repeated back to back over and over in the chorus? Hannah Montana, Bad and Bougie, or Versace? This seems to be a pattern with these guys. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it like I talk it. Well, it's a chorus. It's a chorus. Versace, 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 Versace. Hannah Montana, Hannah Montana, Hannah Montana. Yeah, they dropped Bad and Bougie a couple times on the hook, but it's nothing like those classics. Bad and Bougie is your answer here. Better than the Beatles? Better? Are they better than the Beatles? Are Beatles and Jays? 17,603. Get up here and tell the people that Migos are Beatle adjacent. Uh, the Migos are Beatles adjacent esque, I would say. But they are an iconic group. I do believe that. Shout out to Quavo, just dropped his solo album last week. There you go. Shout out to Offset, who's working on a take off. Who wants to don't worry if I write rhymes, I write checks. Puff Daddy, Will Smith, or Drake. Some of Ben Stiller's finest work in this music video. Oh, that's a good hand. Mm. Ghost writing in hip hop. That could be a sensitive subject, right, Pete? Sure. Best practices just come out in a minute. Mr. Daddy? Yes. Puff Daddy. We ain't. Go with nowhere. 16,441 of you are going to the next question. You're bad boys and girls for life. 16,441 getting Q10. Which of these areas in California gets a shout out in the lyrics to Tupac's California Love, Pasadena, Brentwood, or Malibu? Now, would you know this one? Um, I do know this How one, but you know with the West Coast. Um, pretty deep, but this is Smash. This is one of the biggest West yeah, Coast yeah, songs yeah, of all yeah. time. You know, one of the um, it's a second. But uh, when you sing it to yourself, yeah, you know right. that some don't sound familiar. Let me welcome it. A lot of geography in this song. It's all from Diego to the Bay, Compton to Long Beach, Inglewood. Inglewood, always up to no good. But the boo and OJ's Brentwood do not get love. <laughs> the boo. No <laughs> California love. It's Pasadena. Pasadena. Where you at? <laughs> the boo. The boo. The Dina. The 626. The Rose Bowl. Peter Rose. Rosenberg Ball, 8,533 in the Rose Parade tonight. You're getting Q11, the penultimate question. Which musical act has not had a track produced by Kanye West? Mariah Carey, Lil Wayne, or Beastie Boys? Oh, oh my gosh, now we're stuck. See, now, now we stumped you on this one. No, oh, you know, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Well, early in his career, 
Ye made his bones as a producer before taking the mic. And you can find his fingerprints on the discography of pretty much anyone who's anyone in hip-hop and R&B, including The Carter, Volume 3, and even Mariah on The Emancipation of Mimi, but nada with the beastie voice. What you, what you, what you, what you want? 5,644 of you want the final question. The I'll sabotage a Q11. Sabotage question. Get it together, people. 5,624. Getting Q12. The final round. It all boils down to this. Who don't gotta dance? Who make money move? Who's getting those bands to make them dance? At Q12. $5,000 on the line. Final question. According to the lyrics of Salt and Peppers, push it. This dance is only for who? The OGs, B-boys, or sexy people? Get up this, Peter. Get up this apple box, you short, short man. That's very, very true. This is, uh, <laughs> this is tough. This is, this just takes me a second. Can you believe that Salt, Pepper, and DJ been really been pushing it since 1985? And by the way, they're still doing it pretty well. I just still, saw them perform recently. Still pushing it. Yeah. This song broke them in 87, 88. It was ranked number nine on VH1's 100 Greatest Songs of Hip Hop, a list that came out in 2008. Okay. <laughs> Herbie, Love Bug Azor, who discovered the group. Yep. He laid down the law of the dance floor in the. Oh, this video was such a classic, guys. You have no idea how big this was. It's only for the sexy people. Show me the sexy winners. We got 3,881 of you, baby. I'm very proud. Oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? No, let's freaking behind me. Three thousand eight hundred and eighty-one graduating from the school of hard knocks tonight. How about that, folks? Splitting five thousand dollars—a dollar twenty-eight or dollar twenty-nine for your troubles. What can you do with that kind of money, Pete? Dollar. Um, you get yourself if you're a Newport kind of guy. <laughs> uh, maybe get yourself a little uh, piece of bologna, a soda, good. soda pop. Good advice, right there. Yeah. Big new. Congratulations. Big ups to you, Pete. Unarum, Unarum, that's a scary avatar yes, there. I worry about it. I'm scared, but Halloween is coming up. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Sure. Crazy Doggy, Slim 1976. Cash me. Cash me. Thank you for playing. Right? Right? First HQ. I got it. That's really fun. I have been Scott Rogowski. This has been Peter Rosenberg. You can come back tomorrow and every night at 9 p.m. Thursday night, don't forget, the office theme night, baby. You demanded it. You wanted it. We're giving it to you. Dwight Schrute, Michael Scott, and the crew, we're asking about all of them. Peter, can you take us out with maybe uh, maybe one of your own original raps? Maybe, uh, oh, you want the, the, throw some cheese on that? Throw some, cheese. throw some cheese on that to end uh, this hip hop night? Oh my god, that song's really dirty. <laughs> throw some, no, I can't. Okay, so shout out to my niece and nephew back in Maryland, Alex and Jessa, who are watching. How about that? How about a shout out? Classic shout out. We never ended with a shout out. We're doing it tonight. Thanks for playing all. Feel better now. Gucci sweater now. Good night. <laughs> Woo!